say, listen, this is about the health care plan, point blank. But is it that, or again, is it a larger wake-up call to everybody, as we believe uh, that it is? And even Congressman Peck, by the way, agrees. This is not lefty-righty. This is not health care banks. This is who do the politicians work for, and do they work for those who are the special interests that, that, that they try to accommodate, or do they work in the future interests of America, our children, and our children's children? Joining us now uh, to that end, Congressman Anthony Weiner, Democrat uh, from New York. And Anthony, you have been very outspoken in your criticism of your own party, uh, Leading into the Brown uh, victory, what are your feelings today about Washington, D.C., your role in the political process, and how we get back to a problem-solving mechanism that actually has America as the priority as opposed to any given special interest? Well, first and foremost, we need to realize that it's not only about a numbers game of how you get to 60 senators or 218 members of Congress, that the American people have to feel invested. They have to understand what's going on, and we have to do a better job of selling it. You know, I've been on your show a bunch of times telling about why it's not so terrible that something important to me got compromised, whether it was the single-payer system, eliminating the employer-based model that you've talked about, even the public option. These are all popular things that got jettisoned on the altar of trying to make a deal to get 60 votes in the Senate. Well, with all that compromising and all that inside the Beltway negotiating and sausage-making, we forgot that, you know, we have to message to the American people what we're trying to do. I don't know exactly what you take away from the race in in Massachusetts, but I do know from my colleagues from that state that people are genuinely confused about what we're doing on health care, and that's not just their fault, that's our fault as well. And, and again, I, t I spoke about this earlier, Congressman, do you feel like people are really, they know that there's a lot of uninsured, and that's an easy political, they listen, we've got to cover the uninsured, and what's wrong, I can guilt you into it, what's wrong with you, don't you want to cover the uninsured, but we're denying why, the, the, the underlying reasons why we have the uninsured, because of the indulgence of a variety of special interests because of the perpetuation of systems that you and I can debate, can Washington do a better job about being honest about the problem and then perhaps be a bit more credible when they try to solve the problem? Look, I, I think so. You know, my view is that this is, at the end of the day, a good opportunity for us to step back and say a couple of things. One, we get it. We understand that this process has kind of gone off kind of far afield. And then return to the basic elements of this thing. You know, people like the idea of a public option because they understood the idea of competition, choice, how that brings lower costs. People like the idea of doing things like filling the donut hole so they don't have to suddenly start paying for prescription drugs they didn't have to pay for last week. People understand the idea of bringing insurance companies under the antitrust rules. People get that stuff. The problem is every one of those things we've tossed aside because one senator or another has been interested in getting rid of it for whatever reason. The President of the United States and those of us in Congress, we have to do a much better job refocusing on the basic things that everyone understands. You do a good job doing it on your show, but if you ask citizens out there what this health care plan is about, a lot of them do not know, even ones that should be supporting it and probably would if we explained it better. Exactly. Congressman, thank Thank you so much. I know you got to run. Thanks for giving us a minute this afternoon. Anthony Weiner from uh, the great state of New York.